Hello everybody. So it's now officially fall here in Toronto and this time with my wardrobe, I think I actually want to try to do the whole capsule wardrobe thing proper. Any other capsule I've ever tried in the past, I've just sort of separated it from all of my clothes in the same closet and in the same drawer set. So I never really got rid of the visual overwhelm when it came to testing out my capsule wardrobe and giving it a try. I'm not gonna build my actual capsule today but today I'm gonna just kind of put away all of my summer spring and summer appropriate stuff into storage so it's actually out of my sight lines just to see if that makes a difference in minimizing my choice fatigue and just getting rid of that visual clutter. And I think this might be also just like a little bit of a declutter at the same time. I'm not on my fancy camera today I'm just on my vlog camera. So yeah I think this is just gonna be like a really casual organize with me capsule wardrobe switch over kind of vlog, so let's get started. And yeah, I, I took a lot of inspiration from this from Use Less from Sina's channel because she always seems to put things away into storage and a lot of the capsule wardrobe videos you see really recommend this and I, it's something I've never done just because I felt like I didn't have the room, but I'm gonna make the room to make the storage and just to put things away. As I declutter and as I continue to go through my stuff, it's just that like, I want the visual to be as pleasing as the result. I'm really digging this negative space, things being very clean and sorted out. The other thing I'm also doing is I created a wardrobe tracking spreadsheet. So it's just an Excel spreadsheet, nothing fancy. I'll leave it linked down below. It's in a blog post, but I'm also tracking how often I'm wearing my basically seasonless clothing. So clothing that I can wear pretty much all year round. I'm really track, well, I'm tracking everything really, but when I put my summer stuff away, it'll be my seasonless stuff that remains. So I'm gonna track how often I use that and use that inventory spreadsheet as a guide to help me declutter later on. And just to also get an idea of how often I'm actually wearing things because what I think in my mind versus what I actually do can often be two very different things. to show you something so I'm thinking okay so if you've watched my channel you've seen these before this is like my tickle trunk I've basically had this for my entire life so this is where I keep all of my jeans and sweatpants and stuff and I'm thinking actually I have this like rail here I'm thinking maybe I should just hang up all my jeans so it's there visually and then I can get rid of this and actually use it as my summer storage and put that away in storage. Because the other problem I'm also finding, especially with my boots and my shoes, so I keep them all up here, but I am very much a person who, if I see it, then I wear it. But all of my boots especially, they live in all of their boxes here. So I'm not actually seeing them. So I'm not getting the use out of them that I want. I'm thinking maybe, I can rejig my boot situation, take them out of the boxes so I can see them and easily grab at them. Maybe hang my jeans up so they're all chillin' here and then I don't need this box anymore and I could potentially have some boots down here. I don't know, we'll see, this is my Sunday project. But yeah, you can see like the closet organization is, for me has never really been that great. And I've never really invested any time or money in making it something that is like pleasant and that I like enjoy opening up every single day, but I'm gonna see what I can do today without spending money in terms of closet reorganization and capsule wardrobe switch overing. Yeah, let's just see if we can make it a little more systematic and visually pleasing. And maybe I'll stop using my purple tickle trunk that I've been using since I was like eight years old going to camp. I'm also gonna declutter some of my denim as we go, or at least put it in the maybe pile because some of these I actually like haven't worn in a long time. I don't know if that means that they're on the chopping block. I'm gonna put some things in the maybe pile before I hang it up and kind of go from there. I don't know what this vlog is. It's a declutter, it's a capsule wardrobe switchover, it's a Sunday vlog because I'm in leggings. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing today, but it's fun. These are actually a pair of my mom's denim 
They're a bit too big for me, but I really want to get them tailored. These are her holes that she made. They're a really nice length. They're actually quite flattering on the leg and stuff, but they're just a little bit too big around the crotch so it really bags out and just doesn't look very flattering. I can't find a way to make it look good so I'm gonna get these tailored I think. Also I am very much on my minimalist journey but denim is just not one of those things that I'm a good minimalist at. You are allowed to have a lot of what brings you joy except I do need to get real with myself with how much joy all of this denim brings me. These baseboards have never really seen the light of day. Okay, well, not bad. I'll just show you some pieces that I'm gonna be putting away into storage. So we've got things like sandals, fancy lady, slip-on shoes. Fall for me is really a time to wear boots, so I'm gonna put those away. We've got this really beautiful blazer from Aritzia. This is the Samuel blazer in linen. I actually wore this quite a bit in the summertime. It was gifted to me. I still like to layer in the summertime and everything and this was actually really nice because it is made of linen. It's a lot more breathable but I'm gonna put that away. My Tradlands jumpsuit is gonna go away too. I wore this in like a little mini two-week capsule wardrobe and I actually really like it. It's very relaxed but very breathable. Like the days that it was like 35 degrees plus, this is basically all I wore. You basically feel like you're naked in it. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. I'm gonna put my tie-dye away. This is uh, the Mercury T in, I think, this is either the Supersonic print or the, something to do with Oasis or another band, I don't remember. Very grungy, very cool, but tie-dye for me is very summertime. I don't think I'm gonna wear it in the, in the fall or winter, so I'm gonna put this one away. The production value in this vlog, next level, guys. So this is the only, pretty much the only pair of shorts that I wore all summer. These are the 10 Tree Insto shorts. I did a video with them a couple of months ago. Their stuff is actually so lovely. It's made of tensile, it's really soft. I wish these were a little bit more high-waisted, but they're just like a really easy, like around the house, at the cottage kind of vibe. So probably definitely my most worn pair. Okay, well, I managed to put my summer stuff away, look. So I actually, I had this tub here that I found from under the bed that I actually kept like paperwork in. So um, I'm gonna use it to store my summer stuff under the bed because I was a little nervous about storing it in the basement, but that's all my summer stuff. I actually see, I don't actually have a lot of like majorly seasonal pieces. Um, because I really do like to focus on timeless classic pieces that you can wear in pretty much any season. So by summer stuff, I'm really meaning more like the material is more summertime, more linen-y, more things that I would wear in the, in the hotter months. But I'll show you what the closet and the drawers look like now since we've gotten rid of the tickle trunk. Okay, so here's my denim. I organized it from darkest to lightest and more transitional and then all the distressed denim is over here. And then I can see what brand it is hanging. So we'll give that a shot. I have this space. I think actually like maybe bags or something will go here. I still don't know what to do about the shoe situation. Somebody help. So these are the clothes I wanna have tailored. So these are my mom's Levi 531s. And then it's just some maybe pile. So I'm gonna try these on and decide what I'm gonna do with them. And that's the hanger pile. Okay, so I know this was kind of like a mishmashy sort of <laughs> vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel a lot better about my closet and the organization that I managed to come up with today. So it's a start, small baby steps. No one's expecting anyone to be a minimalist overnight and no one's expecting anyone to be a capsule wardrobe expert overnight either. So I'm just taking you guys along with me in the process. I really want that wardrobe to be something pleasant and something that I enjoy because clothing is something that I still really love. I love getting dressed, I love dressing up. I love coming up with outfits and planning all that stuff, but I, I just really want to put some energy into that to make it really easy for myself the journey continues thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you in the next video bye